Hey, Ron. Where are we? Okay. Revise the answer. What do you remember? Four noble truths. Four noble truths. Yeah, that's a great one. No? Four noble truths will be divided in the Luma, my Vienna. No? 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 Four noble truths will be divided. And they are low. No? You have to see that simultaneously, you have to see that, know that. Hello. You can say. Oh, huh? now it's true. Oh, now it's true. So, do you know why you're going to go? Yeah, Oh, yeah, I mean, Ron Okay. What is a monkey trap? What is the monkey trap? Sorry. <laughs> you just had my joke. Very funny. You're so funny and original. You're so funny. You know what you are? Funny. But like goofy. Goofy. What are you? What are you on? Come on, what are you? See, they made a trap for the monkey. Then they put the, the sweet or something inside, and they make a wooden jar, and then monkey hand can go in. Like this, you can go in. But he grab, he grab something inside, like sweet or something, and then he pull it out. His hand is the fixes like that. So the the uh, opening of the jar is he can he can take out. Oh. He don't want to let go of the sweet also the fruit is there, so he can get it out. He got trouble. That is a monkey trap they call it, right? Mm. So, but not by anything physical. He is trapped by an idea, unable to understand that. Gaining his freedom is simply a matter of letting, letting go of what the sweet he had, right? Mm -hmm. So the sweet, he let it go. He didn't understand, and he got trapped. The same thing with I. We don't know I you, so we don't let, let it go. We can't let it go. Then we are trapped, right? That's what it is. The mind is trapped. Our mind is trapped. The most important element of the monkey trap is that monkey, or it could be you or me if we are acting like a trapped monkey, right? No? Uh, the trap will not work without his full mental and physical cooperation. Keep this in mind, right? If you don't, if you let go of what you, what you catch and uh, what you get inside, he, his, Whatever it is, he, he, that sweet he want to eat it. That's why he got trapped, right? He don't want to let go. If not, he let go of that sweet, or he find other means to get it. It's okay. That's not a point. The point is because of your stupidness is you are in a trap, right? You don't let it go. That is, you are in a trap, right? Same thing with life is, right? That's what we mean. The story solution for both the monkey and you is acceptance. You have to accept it. No? So it is an invitation to stop holding on to and trying to control the anxiety, right? Anxiety. No? Acceptance themselves, allowing the anxiety to be there, observing it, even welcoming it. 
you practice this acceptance so that you can get enough emotional flexibility to make choices about choice about your life that are more aligned with what you value, right? You understand? You understand those? Good. So what you want, you have a choice. That's very important. Right choice and wrong choice. The right choice always make you free, right? That another example is elephant rope. So this is a story about elephants and their owner. When the elephant was living in captivity, it's still a baby, when baby elephant. It is tied to a tree with a strong rope every night. Baby elephant is a small rope, right? Why is it strong? It is a nature of elephant to roam free, right? But to roam free. Thus, the baby elephant instinctively tries with all his might to break the rope. But it is not, he is not strong enough yet, so the rope doesn't break. But he grow old, right? <laughs> when become old, he is big, he has enough. But the rope is the same rope. <laughs> then, realizing his efforts are no use. He, he, tried, he tried it, but yeah, no use. He didn't try it anymore. Same thing. And finally, gets up struggling. The baby elephant tried and failed many times. It would never try again for the rest of his life. Later, when the elephant is fully grown, it can be tied to a small tree with a thin rope. It could then easily free itself by uprooting the tree or breaking the rope. But because his mind has been conditioned by his poor experience, the younger one. Eh? So it doesn't make the slightest attempt to break free, to break free, right? He don't make it effort anymore because he thought it, that rope is holding hold him up to that small tree. Even the tree can, he can pull it off, but he don't know that. He don't try it anymore. There have been some tragic incidents that even when fire broke out in the elephant stables, yeah, and these majestic, majestic Peggy Dumbs agonizingly died. Tie just by a fragile little rope, right? He didn't try it. Even though fires broke out, he said he cannot go and that, because of that rope. But the rope is, he can easily prune, break it up. Even the fire, you might be already burned the rope, but he didn't even try it because he gave up to try it, right? So, the powerfully gigantic elephant has limited its present abilities by the limitation of the past, right? When he was young, a tiny rope, he cannot break free. He was, he was young that died, right? He has no strength. Hence, the baby elephant syndrome, right? Humans are exactly like the elephant, except for one thing. We can choose not to accept the false boundaries, right? And limitations created by the past, right? So always we know, we know that it is always changing, right? I think my wine has been made by these ancient, timeless example. So I shall not be going into the rather modern scientific psychological adventures of Pavlov and his dogs, right? Pavlov, Pavlov is a Russian scientist. He has a few dogs. So he has a con. He run, 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 he do that. The dogs know they have to eat that, like that. 
he may train the dog like that. To re reiterate the main point, drop off all your preconceived tradition, ideas, and let us pick up Buddha's Dhamma as he left it more than 2,500 years ago, right? Well, so drop everything people say, everything they say, drop it, and then follow the Buddha, and you will go free. Your mind will go free, right? That's it. No? The importance of wisdom and faith on the path in the path. No? Say no. Hey, my wisdom. Wisdom is me No, 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 no. no. You are thinking and you are analyzing bhava, those are wisdom, right? Go to the nirvana, you can get to the pathway. That is very important. Buddha is teaching always about particular order, logical step by step. Teachings, learning sequence, teaching and learning sequence, right? If we study his Eight four noble path, right? Noble path, eight four noble. We can see that he put right understanding. That is, in Buddha say samadhi, right? Right understanding, right? And right thought, right thinking. That is samasankapa, right? We see that is naku. That the two wisdom that is called. Wisdom, Pinya Das, Pinya Lukoi, Buddha's word of Pinya, of that wisdom. Elements first. In other words, he expressly implied that wisdom should lead in the search for freedom, right? Wisdom should lead search for freedom. That means your analogous mind is very important, the mind is very important. Right? Let me further elaborate on what Buddha mean by wisdom of Jinya, wisdom of Jinya. The first factor is right understanding. And some Right understanding is a knowledge of oneself as one real being. Right? It is also the understanding of the four noble truths. Right? Four noble truths in Alewa, a big answer. No? Ero, Faska, Dukkha, Nyana. No? Understanding suffering. Right? Dukkha means suffering, right? M B Dukkha, Samudaya, Nyana. Understanding of its origin. Right? Dukkha is origin. And num number C is Dukkha Niyoda Nyana. Understanding its succession. And Dukkha is Chokbara Niyoda. Hala. Niyoda is Dukkha Chokbara. Dukkha set. Dukkha stop. Completely eliminated. That is a Niyoda. And Dukkha. Niyoda Kamini Bribadaya Yana. Understanding that the way to leading to that cessation of Dukkha. Right? You understand that? Yeah. Love goes over. They are all right. Dukkha is all. Dukkha Ariya Dita. Dukkha Samuriya Dita. Dukkha Niyora Jnana. Dukkha Niyora Gami Dita Jnana. It's full, full Jnana. The second factor is right thought. Samma. Sankapa, right? Right thought is the elimination of evil thoughts. 
development of pure thoughts and helping the other moral adjunct to be directed towards the yana. Right? Right thought is threefold. Right? No? Nekapa Sankapa. Intention of renunciation. No? Hila renunciation. No? Nekapa the redirection. You have to you have to get rid of it. You have to drop it, right? Something like that. Soon You have to get rid of it, right? Now what is that? Avyabada Sankapa, intention of goodwill, intention of goodwill. Avihena Sankapa, intention of harmlessness. It was through wisdom complete and unhindered that Buddha realized that good and evil forces were Latent in all sentient beings, right? Everybody has good and evil thoughts. Ela, evil intention is here. They are latent. But doesn't matter. Wisdom leads to a purify the consciousness, right? When you have wisdom, it purifies the consciousness. And the realization that the five aggregates are but virtual, elusive mental image. Right? What is five? Thus, Nibbana was realized. Right? I don't understand. No? Five aggregate. No? Dare. You're a five consciousness. Five aggregate. Mashiru, the Digan, and Dines, and they found two to be in our. I buy a rigging about it. Me, or him. ก็เลยจะไปอะไรกันจ้ะอันนั้นเอาอุบาดานี่ทางนั้นเอาอุบาดานี่ทางนั้นอะไรไฟไปกันจ้ะโทษะเนาะอุบาดานี่ทางนั
is the mind, but also and more importantly in oneself. Do yeah, no, no, oneself, right? Take the case of the five aesthetics. That they were all wise. There is no doubt. But according to faith and belief in Sikh, Siddhartha would be incomparable. Because he's the first one he realized he would ask. No? According to belief was not only in Siddhartha, now Buddha Korma and his teaching, but also in himself as he had unconditionally predicted that the infant Siddhartha would one day become a Buddha and that he according now would achieve enlightenment under his tooth watch. Right? And uh, his two large. That's what he did. By teaching of Buddha, he was the enlightened also. He knew that he believed it. Right? Way below Siddhartha, but maybe then he believed in that. Right? Karma Buddha, Pyanara, yeah. So, I don't know, we know that now. Now we have next one. Inya. In a Vimodi Sadhana, the shortest path to Nirvana. Right? Buddhist concept of Nirvana. The concept of Nirvana is the cessation of Dukkha. That is cessation of Dukkha and Nirvana. No? It only marks the release from rebirth in Sansava. And the Yama Tata Tata Pidhyani Yapa. No? Other way you can say if you have no more bawa, then you don't have no more reincarnation, no more come back to you. Then there's no bawa. Bawa means you don't have to be sure. Vibana is a big deal. Don't be completely, yeah, completely sadness, peace, right? That is a Vibana. Not, not like. We are there, we play that way. No, no like that. Basically, there are two types of Nibbana. Right? Huh? There are the two types of Nibbana. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Hey. You know, two types of Nibbana she gets. Hmm. So, I don't know you. Sa upa di de da nibana. Nibana with a residue or remainder left, right? That is called. What is it? Go. A who? A who? Guru Adashi and Iroma did a nibana. Sa upa di pa di de da. Now, why you are when you are alive? No? A new pa di de da nibana. A new pa di de nibana. Without a residue or remainder left, that means you don't have body any really, anybody. Actually, is when you understand the nibbana, you have only one nibbana. Anubadi da nibbana. That is the one here. No, but the later I will explain that. It was saying appropriate to explain the two types of nibbana is a little more detailed. One who has attained Nibbana with the residue is one who has destroyed the fetters of being, completely released through finite knowledge. He will get rid of all beings, no? However, his five sense faculties remain unimpaired, by which he still experiences what is agreeable and disagreeable, feels pressure and pain. It is the extinction of lust, attachment, hatred, and delusion in him that is called Nibbana element with residue left, right? Something you still 
still feeling sad or, or happy or something like that. And you, you see a car, you want to have it, or you see anything, you want to have it, you want to play game, then you stay happy, but you have a day in Nibbana. Something like that, right? Why? You know the four noble truth. No? Okay. An evil darling, no? Never You understand that? Yes. Damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs>